ask a male. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bill. I'm here coming to you live from the Ask a Male office and apartment, answering your questions via YouTube about why men think the way they do. For years, women have suffered in absolute unabashed what? There are no words that I can put to it. As to why men think the way we do, we do a lot of weird things, and I'm here to break the silence. We've got a question coming to you live today, written in by an anonymous writer who asks, why do men wear dress shirts tucked into sweatpants and think that it's okay to hit on us? What? Now, the reason I ask that absolute what is I notice it. I know that dudes do it. And oftentimes I am really confused as to it myself. So I asked a few guys that I met on the street, why? And generally their response is because it feels comfortable. Now I understand this is why you do it. You go out and with a button down Oxford, you are attempting to show that you still have a sense of business attitude and acumen and your sweatpants are what makes you feel comfortable. But the conversation that we ended up having, having, having was that dudes dressing in sweatpants and dress shirts generally tend to send a message that you've given up on life, that you don't really care about yourself or what you do or how you really consort yourself. And when ladies see this, and interpret it as such, they tend to get the idea that if you don't care about yourself, how can you care about them? Now, I'm intimately aware as to why people do snap judgments. Um, I happen to be a heavily tattooed dude in black on a regular basis. It's comfortable for me. When I put on clothes and I step outside, I am wearing something that I feel is confidence boosting and is comfortable. I wear a lot of black and I wear Dickie's work shirts because to me it affects a style reminiscent of Marlon Brando and James Dean and suave, confident, raw sophistication and confidence that you get from that greaser aesthetic. But to somebody that doesn't know me, and I'm sorry I'm licking my lips a lot because um, they're a little chapped. It, for somebody who doesn't know me, the general impression that you get if you see a dude wearing all black with lots of tattoos and work shirts coming up is that he's a scary dude and he's going to hurt me. So I have to tone back the message that I'm sending when I greet somebody. So I tend to want to do so with a smile. And I want to do so with a little bit more color when I'm attempting to talk to somebody. Now, gentlemen, this one is directed at you. Understand that what you do for comfort generally tends to put off an image to others that tends to frighten them a little bit. If they see that you don't care about your life anymore, or that's their interpretation by what you're wearing, and really all you're doing is just trying to be comfortable, they're not going to want to talk to you. So maybe instead of wearing the sweatpants to be comfortable, put on a pair of khakis. Go out, say hi, meet somebody, and try not to be awkward about it. I know it's difficult sometimes to talk to people. It's always difficult because we all fear rejection. Men especially fear rejection because we're always keenly and consciously aware that if we come up and talk to you ladies, you can easily say no. Simply put, not interested. You're too fat. You're too big. You're too skinny. You're too short. You're too tall. You're too something. And immediately, we're out of the picture. So, honest communication, I think, is the best. It's always a good idea if you are actually actively going out to pursue an actual relationship with someone to talk to them. And do so, bearing in mind that talking to someone is more than just your words and your tone of voice. It is your body language, 
and it is what you put on. Clothes do make the man. Now, I'm more than happy to be the friendly Marlon Brando that hugs everybody, because I think Marlon Brando is pretty huggable. But I don't think Captain Sweatpants is very huggable to a lot of ladies. So bear that in mind, gents. If you like the answer to my question, make sure that you add a like, hit that thumbs up button. If you have a follow-up question to my question, post a comment below. If you have a question that you want to ask the Ask a Mail blog, post a comment below or private message us, we'll respond. Um, I will have a bonus question right after this. Please stick around. I've got lots more to come. Every Friday, I will answer a question live for you about why men think.